The purpose of this demo is to showcase the progress we have made with Payroll 2.0. Please note that this information is subject to change since development is still in progress. In this demo, we will be highlighting the new features in Payroll Data Entry. The Pay Cycle dialog is the first screen that displays when you select Payroll Data Entry from the launcher. Two new fields have been added, the period starting date and the check date. The period starting date is the first date of the pay period. This date can be printed on the check. The check date is the date that will print on the paychecks and is used in payroll tax calculation to obtain tax rates and limits. It is also used for tax reporting purposes. To ensure the accuracy of your reports, it is critical that you keep the check date in the current processing quarter. In Payroll Data Entry, we've added a hyperlink on the Employee Number field, allowing access to employee maintenance if you have the proper security rights. The Lookup button will display a list of all active employees. The Search button will list all employees that have a payroll entry. The Next Number button will locate the next active employee set up for the selected pay cycle. This button will display a list of all terminated and inactive employees and will only be available if the appropriate security event is set in Role Maintenance. If you select an employee from this list, you will be able to reactivate and pay the employee. The Browse buttons will browse through the entire data entry file, and the Memo button will display all memos set up for the selected employee. You will now be able to create memos specific to the entry. For example, you may want to note that the entry is a bonus payment or the employee's last check. We've also added the ability to reverse a check. This feature will be explained in a separate video. In Legacy, the employee's social security number displayed next to the entry number. It has now been removed to protect personal identifiable information. No changes have been made to the header tab, so we'll jump over to the lines tab. As with all new data entry programs, there is a primary and secondary grid, and you can drag and drop columns between the two grids. You can also insert rows, delete rows, rearrange the order, and reset one or all rows. If you prefer, you can switch the view to see more information on the screen. If you have the appropriate security rights, you can access earnings code maintenance, deduction code maintenance, labor code maintenance, and workers' compensation maintenance. You can quickly search for a specific row, and there is a button to recalculate deductions if necessary. This concludes the demo for Payroll Data Entry. Thank you for watching.